Hi everyone, welcome back to Nisi's Closet. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the knit look stitch. So you're crocheting, but it's going to look like you knit it. So what I'm going to do, I just took some yarn that I have. And I'm just going to show you what to do. I'm using a number four weight yarn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain a few stitches. You really don't have to worry about the number of chains. This is just a practice. And, and, and two, you don't have to worry about even numbers or odd numbers. Okay, I think this is enough. This is enough. So what we're going to do is... I'll do two more. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet into the first chain. And we're going to single crochet all the way to the last chain. Oh, I have a shadow. I'm single crocheting to the last chain for my first row. Now, after I finish my single crocheting, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. This time, we're going to slip stitch into the second row. And all you do is go into the first single crochet and you pull the yarn all the way through. The next single crochet, pull the yarn all the way through. As easy as that, we're pulling the yarn all the way through. You're putting your hook into the stitch right here. You're pulling the yarn all the way through. This is a slip stitch. And here we are at the last single crochet. Make sure you do the last single crochet. Doing your slip stitch. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn. Now that we did the slip stitch, we're going to go right back and do a single crochet. So what we're doing is it's one row of single crochet and one row of slip stitch. So now, this is where you do your single crochet. It's not here, it's here, okay? This is where you do your single crochet. You do it right at the top, because you see how it is here? You're going to turn it up, and you're going to single crochet in the top of where the other single crochet is. Okay, you're gonna go to the top. And try not to be too tight because if you're, if you're too tight, then you're fighting as you go into the stitch. 
and it does get easier as the pattern grows. So right now I'm single oh, I'm single crocheting. And be careful not to miss a stitch because if you miss a stitch, it will start looking bent. So make sure you do not miss a stitch. And when you do, and you see you made a mistake, Go back to where you see the mistake and fix it. Oh, see, I'm fighting at the end. Okay, here's where I did my last single crochet. I'm going to chain one on my turn. See? Now this is actually the back of a knitted row. This is, this does look like knitting. So now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. We're just going to, we're just going to pull the, go in and slip stitch, pulling the yarn all the way through. Remember, I'm just teaching you how to do the stitch. Later on, I will show you how to make a scarf or a hat. Actually, making a scarf, all you got to do is, I don't know, it depends on how wide you want the scarf. You can go 22, 23, 25, 26 stitches. And just by doing this, you can make a scarf. That's easy enough. Just by learning this, just do whatever number of uh, chains and you can make a scarf just by doing this. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn and we're going to single crochet into the first stitch. And remember, we're going, I want to make sure you see this, we're going here, not here, we're going right here to the top. You see that? This is how, this is how it is, we're going right here. And we're going to single crochet. going right into right here into the very top and we're single crocheting do you see this You see where we're going? Right here. Not here, not along here. We're going to the very top. Single crocheting. at 
the very last stitch. Oop, and we're single crocheting. Chain one and turn. Now see how see how that looks? That's the back. This is the front. And actually, I am working on a knitted project. Um, but it's not. See, this is knitted. See how that's knitted? I just wanted to show you how it's close to looking like a knitted project. And see, this is the back. That's an example. Just I'm just showing you an example how this is knitted. And this is the crochet. That's the back. And this is the front. So we just did a single crochet. I'm going to go back now and do a slip stitch. And remember, when you do the slip stitch, all you do is make sure you go into the first stitch and you just pull the yarn all the way through. Very easy. And, and once again, try not to be tight. Okay? Because you, cause you are, whoop, you're going to, you're going to the very top. You're, go, you're going right along here, doing your slip stitch. And you're bringing your crochet hook right under the single crochet. You're doing your slip stitch. Pulling the yarn, pulling the hook in, pulling the yarn out, all the way through. In, pull the yarn out, all the way through. And I'm going to do one more row of the single crochet, which is right here at the top, right here, right along here. You're going to single crochet. Right, right at the very top, you're doing the single crochet. Once again, try not to be too, too, too tight. I mean, don't be too loose and don't be too tight so that it's easy to put the hook into each stitch. And make sure you go into the last stitch. Chain one and turn. Wow. That does look knitted. This does look knitted. I 
I decided to do a few more rows and I'm ending this row with the slip stitch I hope you're finding this easy to do I'm just going into the single crochet stitch pulling the yarn all the way through I'm going to show this to my uh, students at my crochet class tomorrow And I'm making sure I go into the last stitch. Make sure you go into the last stitch. And that's it. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. This is the knit look stitch. All right. Thank you for uh, watching my videos. I'm looking forward to showing you a new video soon. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And just keep watching Nisi's Classic. And I hope you're having a good day. And until next time, keep crocheting.